newly opened art studio in Greenville specializing in paint pouring. Ava Bratz is pouring some paint, exploring the science of fluid dynamics at this new art studio, Ava. <laughs> Which I'm finding out is to be way more complex, but still maintainable for anybody and everyone to come in and try. The only one here in the Southeast only opened a few weeks ago. Congratulations, Thank Susie. You. Thank what you. What an accomplishment. You brought your artsy background and you're giving it to the upstate. So what is paint pouring? Paint pouring is layering of a cup, pouring it onto a canvas, and you're going to move it around. Okay. And the viscoelasticity is what gives it its unique look. Say that five times fast, right? Viscoelasticity. <laughs> you don't have to. No, no. <laughs> you did it enough. Amazing. Okay, so what is viscoelasticity? It is what gives um, the paint its unique look on the canvas. It actually, it's, everything is going to be different every single time. Wow. Yeah, every pour. Very cool. Yeah. Alrighty, well, we're seeing some of those unique pores here. I mean, that is really neat that you can go somewhere and, you know, the pal next to you, you're not going to have the same look. Doesn't even matter if you use the same colors. That's right. Absolutely. And you do have a lot of colors. So I picked Absolutely. some here. What's, where do we start? Okay, so I'm going to pour some paint on the canvas. Okay. And you are going to spread it all around that canvas. Very nice. All around the edges and everything. And Woo! I'm going to layer. Get messy. Okay, so this came from a trip to Hawaii with your husband. How did you come upon this really neat part of art? We stopped in at the Waikoloa Village and at their studio there, and there was a gallery that we were looking at. And inside the gallery, we noticed there was a, a studio, and wow. it was a paint pouring studio, and we just fell in love. I would say so. I mean, people just lose their minds getting this messy, right? This they, is so fun. They do. So now this layering, what you're doing here, there's a method to your madness. There is. So we, we call it blurp blurp. Blurp blurp. Yeah. In the house. <laughs> All right. What a fun name for so a little thing. So we do blurp blurp. And the layering kind of helps it really lay out in a unique way. It does. It okay. brings out all sorts of different cells. Ooh. All right. What we're gonna, you're Check gonna out gonna... these layers, though. I mean, that is very precise. She could be a latte artist. Ah, there we go. Okay, so you're gonna actually pour from this side. Okay. And you pour so it down. in this circle here any way that oh, you want. No gloves. She's a true artist. Okay. Woo! Look at the blurp go crazy! Oh my goodness! Very wow. good. Oh, okay. All right. And what did you say about my color um, selection here, Susie? Oh, very unique. I don't think anybody's ever touched First it of out. Its, kind. it's awesome. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna actually gonna lift this up. You can lift that side. I'll okay. lift this side, and we're just gonna start. Oh. Bring this around. <gasps> oh my gosh! This is so fun. And you guys have a class up tonight. Actually, you were saying? We do. We have classes four times a day: eleven o'clock, one o'clock, three o'clock, and five o'clock. <gasps> Wow, so walk-ins, or you could book a whole group, too. Absolutely. Yep. How nice is Ladies that? Ladies' night. Oh, look at this. This is like this earthy kind of geotone. It's gorgeous. I'm obsessed with this, and that took literal minutes. Yeah, literal minutes. So how long are your classes normally if I bring a big group? It'd be big, probably between one and two hours, depending on how many people are here. Oh, and Everybody's going to layer gosh. their cups and go at it. I would totally yeah. want to have a paint war, but you probably discourage that. Oh. Yes! Oh, look at that, <laughs> Totally. So how long does this take to dry? When can I pick this masterpiece up? This will dry in about two to three days. Okay. If you decide to resin it, if you like that really nice shiny look, you're yeah. going to want to put resin over top, mm -hmm. and that will do uh, be another 12 hours on top of that. Yeah. So in about three to four days. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, we are going di to deep dive into resin with those tumblers when we come back, guys. It's not just paint pouring. They've got all sorts of creative opportunities out here on Woodruff Road. Really is cool to see how those come together, Ava. Awesome. We'll see you soon.